Hello and welcome back to Reapers. Today we're using the mission editor. I thought you guys might come along and watch. I'm going to be making mission 7, day 7, for our uh, Cold War campaign, which is pretty cool, going really well so far. Last thing that happened was day... Sorry, we're doing day 7 today. Last thing that happened was day 6, and the Hellhounds moved in and secured Batumi Air Base in Georgia for us. Uh, so we're going to continue from that directly. So let's go to mission editor. Rather than making it from scratch, it's probably going to e be easier if we just uh, load up uh, day s blah, 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 5, which was the last DCS mission. Let's load that up. Okay, let's save it as a new one. Okay, well, GRM day 7, which is nothing. Today is going to be anti-ship slash cap. Well, anti-ship and cap. Day 7, and the date today is uh, the 8th, well, 7 days ago since we did the last mission. That can't be right. 4th, the 8th, yes, yeah, weird, but okay. Right, okay. So, um, the storyline, according to the profile of the campaign, at this point the Russian Navy has entered the Black Sea through... Uh, however they enter the Black Sea, I don't know, but they've pushed our carrier force out. So our carrier force is going to be in, but we're going to put it way down here. It's been pushed away from Russia and Georgia. So first thing I'm going to do is delete these aircraft off of this carrier. In fact, should I even do that? Yes, because I've got to cause confusion otherwise. So off he goes, off he goes, off he goes, off he goes, off he goes. And our ships are going to be whoop de whoop way down here and of absolutely no consequence because they are literally going to be, what, 300 miles away, so we couldn't operate even if we wanted to. Okay, but we have gained Batumi, so the idea of this uh, campaign is that the cold, uh, Russia, we, uh, bad, Russia are always the bad guys because 97% of our viewers, you guys are American, obviously, so <laughs> Russia's always going to have to be the baddie or uh, Iran or, you know. Um, so Russia has invaded Georgia, um, as they tend to do, and we've taken our first step back. We've taken Batumi back from them. This kind of outlaying little uh, military, military base. So the next thing is we're going to have our... I'm just panicking in my head as we go. So the first thing is get your cup of tea. Make sure you've got your cup of tea sorted. You can't not make a mission without that. Some may prefer coffee. Other drinks are available, of course, but that's my specification. So uh, what are we going to do? So we're going to take off today from Batumi. It's all based around... IFR bad weather is what we're going to be doing today. That's the so the antagonist today is the weather and it's also the hostile fleet and it's also the hostile MIGs or for Sukhois or whatever. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'm gonna I guess we better do our good guys. So Batumi, how many parking slots? Do, oh dear, only ten parking slots. Well, that's a problem, a real problem. Bearing in mind that we've got IF, uh, IFR landing. So how are we going to do this? Actually, no. Um, can we start any of these aircraft? We're going to have to have some guys just land. Um, it's as simple as that. I think we can do it. So what's the easiest aircraft to land today? We're going to be using Hornets, Tomcats, and we're going to be using the Biggin. So the easiest to land is probably going to be the Hornet. So let's have a bunch of Hornets here. F-18, 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 F-18. F uh, where is it? Pion. Let's gas them down. It's a little bit easier to land. They're going to be at... This may get ugly, but let's just try it. 160 knots at... Where are we? 500 feet. Human controlled. I hope this works. And they can be um, landing in that direction there. So that is, what, a mile off threshold? Well, not even, not even a mile. So that's to 4,000 feet of threshold. And let's hope for the best, I think. That's that. And then let's add a bunch more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Hornets. Uh, the Tomcats uh, will start down here. Tom, 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 Tom. Where are you? There you are. Client. Parking hot. Four of them, and let's make uh, two more. Tomcat, 
few more. Climb. And let's make the anti ship, which is going to be the Wegans. Everyone loves a good Wegan. Client. Parking heart. Bop, 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 bop. Hmm. Well, there's more than that. Better re remove one of these F14s, I guess. Wegan. Right. Wow, look how small the Wegans are compared to the F14. That's funny. Client controlled. Client controlled. Client controlled. Client controlled. So, got all our aircraft. I don't think I need to add anything. Yeah, I do need to add waypoints. We'll do that in a minute. So next, we need. To, uh, when we take off, we can't take off and stay in visual formation because it's obviously the cloud. We're gonna have to split. So we need a meeting point. Uh, we could do this by having IP points or whatever. But I think the best idea is to have these four tankers, which I've already got in place. Let's just go and program them in now, and then we'll move them. Uh, so there is hammer tanker, which is 10,000 feet, 400 knots, uh, with a freak of one, two, one. Call sign Texaco. Then we go call sign Arco is Buick, 12,000. Ba 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 ba. Refueling. Data link on. Uh, Tacan on. Tacan 22 X-ray. So I've already set these up with all the relevant Tacans and all the relevant uh, frequencies. So to save time, that is Sabre. That is Dagger and Sabre can be shell one one. Dagger can be shell one two. But let's change it. Shell two one then fine. So shell one one, shell two one. With all the relevant freaks. So we probably won't use these as air to air refuelers today because we're not going that far. But we can use them as great places to meet up. Uh, no, it's not realistic, but I think it's a good start and um, it'll give us some cool visuals as well. So. Let's, uh, we'll just put that 10 miles from uh, the threshold. And there you go. And these guys, ping, 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 ping. So they should be set up and good to go. Go and now just move these together. 2,000 feet separation. Right, that's the first thing we've got to do is we're going to take off, separate because of the weather, then meet up at the tankers in our relevant groups. So I think that would be a great thing to do. Then we've got to go on mission. And the mission is, so let me just think what we need to do. So we're not going to have any uh, fixed points today. Fixed points are places that allow you to fix your, to, to recalibrate your nav system. Because we're not going to, it's IFR, we've got nothing to, to look at. I know you can do it other ways, like date link. Uh, so we're going to have to do it that way, I think. So we're going to keep these um, two world rigs out here, just because we might need on another mission. So what can we reuse from this old mission? Well, we've got a lovely big S300 here, so why don't we reuse that as a threat? No one likes a threat. And then we can plonk him. How about down here? Yikes, big S300. Sweet, it only moved one unit, just what I wanted Try that again, shall we? Which the leader? Where's the leader? There he is. Whoop de whoop. So we've got this threatening, big threatening S three hundred over looking at us all the time. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, this S three hundred. Just don't want it. Uh, sorry, S six. Don't want. Um, okay, what have we got here? A bunch of tanks and stuff, that can all go, don't want that, don't want that. I think we can use this trigger, uh, change that, we'll use that in a bit. Um, we might use these baddies, so we'll keep them in for the time being. So today the, the idea is the Russian fleet has moved in and um, chased our fleet away, so we've got to respond and do an anti-ship on them. Now, obviously we're not going to destroy the Russian fleet with four vegans, but we're going to attack some outlaying vessels. Um, we might sink them, we might not, but it's just to send a signal to the Russians that don't come any closer. Uh, so I think that's a pretty cool mission. I don't want to make it, I don't want the C300 to be too much part of the program, so I'm going to keep roughly out of its zone. And uh, today is anti shipping, that's what I want to concentrate on. So let's make some shippy whippies. Um, let's make a, what would a Russian fleet look like? It would be based around a, uh, what's it called? Kuznetsov. Only has one of them, doesn't it? 
and it's going to be heading in that direction. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which direction it's going to be heading. Because it's only going to be moving at 11 knots. Don't want any Takan or any Ting like that. So get rid of that. Uh, get rid of it. Ping. Let's make a second ship. And that second ship is going to be a... Grisha? What's that? Looks pretty friggin' dangerous, doesn't it? Let's have a couple of them. And let's make a third one, which is going to be a... Some sort of... Um, Gunboat of some kind. What would you have? Uh, what's that? Just looks the same as the Grisha. Uh, what's that? A thing. It's just American. That's no good. What's that? God, that looks even more dangerous. Something small, please. Kind of regards. That. Yeah, gunboat. Beautiful. Let's have that. Now let's have another one. Let's have something else. Let's have some supply ships. Um, dry cargo ship. Ping. And two more dry cargo ships. So that's going to be our main fleet. Two big missile boats. Hey. Where did they go? Mm, must have cocked up there. No, I didn't. There's two more. They're just not here. How queer. Okay. Well, we'll delete those other two, I guess. That just don't exist. Uh, are we maxing out at five? Is that what's happening? No. Got that again. No, they just disappeared for some reason. Okay, don't know what that's all about. So it looks like it's gunboats uh, only. Let's add another one. Let's try. Uh, how about that type? Oh, that doesn't work either. I guess it does. It's just. Um, being weird at symbols disappearing. And let's have another one. And another one. Okay. Let's put them kind of roughly how they'd fly, float, I don't know, something. A few miles separation. That doesn't really matter because we're not actually attacking this main fleet today. And they're going to be going in that direction to chase the Naughty Reapers fleet away and then up and then whatever. Okay, so that was a Ranga of 135 miles, probably too far. Now we can have some small outlying um, uh, uh, boats. Scout boats, I guess we call them. So what's a scout boat? Mm, kind of... I don't know anything about the Navy, by the way. Hence why this is going to be so silly. Moskva, what's that? Holy cow, that's not a scout boat. It's a friggin' battleship. Can't attack that. How about... What was that other little one? Moskva. 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 No, other one. Um, that one. Yeah, it's gunboat. Looks like it's got three, two phalanxes, but I reckon we could do some damage to that. So, let's say they're going out in pairs as little scout ships. Um, I'm going to say they're too far away that's... And they're going to be going, I don't know, that direction or something. These guys are going to be going, so that's number one. So they've got a lethal range of, what, 10 miles apparently. I don't even know if we can kill these. So they're going to be going like, pew, like that. And then they've got another set. Which is going to be kind of there. And these are going to be going pew, like that. Yep. Cool. So, we've got some scout boats to find. They're going to be 80 miles away. So, it's a relatively longish trek. Maybe not long enough. Let's put these guys here. Put these guys there. How long is that? So, from Batumi. That is 110 miles to the nearest hostile. I think that's fair. You fire your R70... Oh, God, what are they called now? Oh, God, my brain. The missile's called the Vigor... Ah, oh, 75? RB05? No. No, I'm not going to remember today, am I? The big ones. RB15A. There we go. Got it. RB15F. The RB15Fs you fire at... Uh, 40 miles, I did a video on this didn't I, 40 miles, so you'd be firing about 
there, so we've got to protect them from hostiles there, so that means the engagement is going to be about 70 miles away. <sighs> nah, let's make them further away. Let's make a trick of it. Right, let me get the big one, please. Sweet. Sat like that, maybe. Like that. From Batumi, they're now on 140 miles. I think that's more like it. So we have to get past that S300. Shouldn't really be a problem. Shouldn't be a massive problem. So how far away from that S300 now? 65 miles. So kind of 30, 40 miles. Yeah, it's unlikely we're going to have a problem with that. And 180 miles from the big, uh, the big fleet. Okay, relatively happy with that. So at some point, some baddies are going to come, right? And that's going to be uh, this little thing. Batshit QRF. So when we pass Batshit QRF marker, some baddies are going to come. Okay. Uh, how on what? In fact, we might already have these set Wow, this would be amazing if all the triggers are already set up. Go and have a look at the trigger list. On mission start, flag one is off, okay. Or part of coalition get in batshit zone. And uh, then flag one turns on. That's pretty cool. Uh, after f after one second after the flag turns on, spawn QRF and patrol. 500 seconds later, that is eight minutes. Spawn QRF 2 and spawn QRF 3 after 1,000 seconds. Mm. Seems quite fun. I don't see any problem with that. So it was QRF and patrol that came in first. And why don't we say that they're patrolling all around, so they come from different angles. So that was QRF 1 there and QRF 2 there. Come in from these kind of angles, and these guys are going to come from, from there. That guy is going to come from there, so if we're setting off that trigger kinda 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 there, a little, little bit closer so Diggins want to have to get involved in this air, to air combat don't we so let's have something more like that so these guys want to be protecting their ships won't they so how about they come do something like that they're going to orbit, I've already got orbit set up them when they get there. I'm assuming they're fully armed. Uh, yeah, with jammers as well. That's going to be hard as hell. Okay, uh, they're all pairs by the looks of it. Pairs of armed flankers, all in excellent skill, so that should be fun. Okay. So, 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 so. When we get there, the first hostiles are going to spawn way too far away. 100 miles? No. Nine hundred miles, ridiculous. Eighty miles tops. Seventy-four. No, from here it is, isn't it? Still too far. It's eighty miles away. That is ninety miles away. Let's close him in a bit. these guys in a bit. So they're spawning 84 miles away, 70 miles away, it gives us plenty of time to get locked in a little bit further. I think 100 miles because we're dealing with phoenixes and shiz now aren't we? Longer range radars. 90 miles and 90 miles, that seems about realistic for detection I would imagine. These guys are going to come in later. Cool! Got some bad guys, so that's total of Four bad guys to begin with, then two bad guys, then two bad guys. How many guys are we going to have? I really don't know who's going to turn up tonight, so... Why don't we slap in an extra one, couldn't we? A little wild card we had in there. A sea flanker from the Kuznetsov. That would upset people, wouldn't it? Mm. Might change these to some sea flankers. Some sea flankers, two of one of them to begin with. Let's give him 
I'm gonna give them radar guided. Whoops. Let's have three of them. So three SU-33 is gonna come plonking at us straight off of that carrier. We'll pretend, which is a hundred miles away, and then pretty much a hundred miles away, we're gonna have these QRF. Well, the patrol, the SU-27 patrol. It's okay. Let's just check that worked okay. 27, three of them armed up. Cool, that should be a good fight. Uh, now these guys are all going to have SAMs, so we're going to make sure we don't get sucked into that SAM network. We should be okay. I reckon we'll be okay. Cool. All going well so far. So if those vegans get kind of that distance, we're going to have to kill all those hostiles before the vegans can go do their job. So this is going to probably work pretty well. Right, uh, what next? I need to go and test all that. I need to check that these boats aren't too powerful in terms of their, trip, uh, their AA. So we're going to uh, get a test vehicle. Who is blue. And is a 15. Client going that way. Okay, that S300 is just going to simulate loads of S300 batteries, but I'm not going to, I don't want to put them all in because we're going to just use up the RAM on the server. So that's that done. It's them done. Let's go have a look at the wetter. Options first of all, we're in Milsim today, so map only from the F10. All this to forced off, everything forced off. Forced off, we'll leave tooltips on. External views on. Let's go and have a look at uh, weather. So, snowstorm but no wind. That's how it was in armor. So, let's get as cold as we can. Or is that going to really upset something? Uh, that's going to destroy our pitot tubes, isn't it? Let's get. It's freezing. It's freezing. Freezing o'clock. Weather is going to be base of the clouds all the way down to 900 feet. Thickness of the clouds is going to be 2,000 feet. M -m 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 maximum density. It says it's a thun thunderstorm. It should say snowstorm, shouldn't it? Snowstorm! Whoop whoop! Wicked. Mental, mate. Snowstorm, 10 cloud cover, no real wind, and a foggy woggy of 1500 feet, which is jack shit. And a thickness of 1000, so that basically means we've got cloud cover for full cover from 0 to 3000. Uh, time is January. So that's getting dark at that point. So today, shall we do something different? Or do we want it dark when we get back? Well, we've already got it. Uh, already got it snowy. So does it matter if it's going to get dark as well? Let's leave it to get dark, I suppose. Got tankers here, so we can always refuel, but we might as well just go home. There's not, we're not really going to be using the tankers today. Okay, so let's go and try some teeing out, shall we? We're going to save that up. I'm going to jump in. We're going to need a head tracker, aren't I? Pants. Diddly, 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 den, 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 den. Diddly, 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 den, 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 da, den, den, da, den, da, den, den, da, 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 den, den, da. Wow, this is the quickest mission I think I've ever made. Talk about efficient. My if I've made any errors. Again. Right. Spectate. Okay. So I guess the first thing we're going to try. Oh, hang on. Have I put these guys in the cloud? No, that looks fine. <laughs> Look at them. That's so funny. <laughs> I can see them. Okay. First of all, why don't we try being a turn the sound down first of all. Because it's loud in that hornet. Choose coalition. Blue hornet. Let's try one of these landings, yo. Let that cockpit load. Oh, this is going to be fun. Not. So, unpause. Gear down. Flaps down. Hey, this is a piece of piss. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Sweet, we're not going to get any landing lights tonight, by the looks of it. 
ugly. Ah, okay. Ah, it's gonna be icy, anti skid on. Hey, break out. Yeah, we can land, piece of piss. You can't do that, you shouldn't be in the reapers. Right, next we're gonna try the air f A415, so back to spectators. Spectator. Okay, nothing spawned, which is nice. Let's try the F15. Power on. Go, monkey, go. Big bird and flam shelter. Right, wow, that was quick. Look at that. Okay. So let's go and see now how aggressive those boats are. Oh, I can't see anything. Hate Milsons. Okay, well, there's not much point because I can't see how far the boats are, so... No knowledge to be gained there. Back to spectators. Let's see, make sure everything spawns in. So, in the 500 seconds after 2 minutes, there should be a 10 mics. The other guy should spawn in. Let's check that out. Let's check it. Oit noi. Yep, they're in. Next. We put the lethal range on, so is that the engagement area? So these guys apparently haven't got any engagement area. I guess maybe they're guns only, I really don't know. Yeah, so it looks like we should be able to shoot these, okay. These guys have also got hardly an engagement area, look at that. Why is it so small? Eight miles, weird. And these guys have come in, that's great. Right, next, waypoints and shears. Quit. Quit. Sir. Waypoints, well, we don't really need anything for today, which is actually quite nice. Um, all we're going to need is, we've already got a marker for the planes, we've got the Takan for the base. All we need is a rough mark waypoint, which is telling you roughly where we think the bad guys are, I suppose. Mm, yep. So we're going to say roughly, we think waypoint one, where the bad guys are, is somewhere around here plus 50 miles. About re. Yep. Sound like that. So that is our waypoint one, which is. Uh, for memory, it is 80 miles from there and 90 miles from there. Okay, next we need to do the rest of these mongrels. Waypoint 1 is also there. Next is Pion. Waypoint 1 is also there. You ah, oh, I've got to do all these individually. Anger. They put one. Supercap has a super cheat. Super cheat. Super cheat. Pia, 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 pia. All I do is go there. So wait, you're going the wrong way. Ah, we got five point one. It's actually at where they're landing. So. And them from the other direction is all. So let's scratch their current waypoints. Just going to land them here. One mile out on perfect vector. About there, we'll say. Just don't cock up. Add the actual waypoint is going to be. Pion, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What could go wrong with that? 
absolutely ah oh, they're not on vector anymore re the anger how about that we're happy we're happy now happy three four five six seven eight whoop de boop some planes that's a little bit close <laughs> maybe a little bit close okay get it done chaps just get it done Beautiful. So that's that. Uh, right, what next? Everyone's got the waypoint. Now we need IP points and defended points. So, okay. Hmm. I know. Let's use the oil rigs. Get rid of you now. Oryx can be the IP points. So the IP points, we use them as the rendezvous areas for the various groups. So we've got a rendezvous uh, southwest and a rendezvous northeast. Why don't we just call them west and east? Tar and Tar. Now, is that where we want them? Fighting's going to be going on. We really want them maybe a little bit further in. Kind of level with our waypoints. Sight like that, more like. Okay, like that. Uh, next, we need a defended point. And uh, we might as well just do an oil rig as well, just to make it easier for me, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, the defended area to the IP is generally one about 20 miles, but that is not far enough, so it's going to be 40 miles this time. It's going to be there. The defended area we use is a universal attack area. That's where we face towards to attack. So they help us get our bearings for the, for the generally arranging the attack and and whatnot. So that's it. IP West, IP East, and doodly doodly. Uh, we do need some coordinates. So let's bring out my notebook. Don't do that, please. Uh, how about that we do this new notebook? Is that going to work? Maybe. Right, we've got our defended point, which is going to be four, two, five, nine, four, seven, three, nine, three, 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 zero, four, two, two, three, two, seven, three, nine, five, one, one, two. That was, sorry, that was uh, IP West, IP Freely. And this little monkey is IP East, four, two, four, six, zero, four, zero, two, zero, five, seven. Uh, right, that's it. Regards any, um, stipulations for flying do we want any stipulations for flying I don't think so I think they would know that we were coming so I don't think there's any point of hiding down on, on the you know we can't ter terrain mask in any way so regards our flight remarks I don't think I'll I'll limit anything they can do whatever they want basically um, I guess Cap should really go out in front of the Vigans would you think or no more, maybe more or less at the same time I would think so if we agree 400 knots or whatever cruise speed, we'll get that done. Um, nothing else really I can think of. Pretty, I mean, it's a simple mission. Simple mission. It's going to be a straight up fight with some anti-ship missiles going out, and just don't run into that S300. So it should be relatively quick, uh, relatively easy. The reason I made it relatively easy is because, well, relatively easy is because with one of the main antagonists here is the weather. The weather screws everyone up if you're not used to IFR flying, which most of these guys aren't. So I think this will be hard enough. Okay. So let's quit that. Let's have a quick look around everything. Make sure we haven't forgotten anything. We've done the tankers. So next we're going to move this into paint or whatever and start making the briefing. So stand by. Welcome back. We have our JPEG. Let's go and plop him into position. Right, let's get a cool briefing done, shall we? Something like that. Something like 
that, something like that, pion, whoops, pion. Okay, now we don't really want to show where all these guys are, so what we're going to do is some sort of blank out, um, just sat like this. That's pretty crap. Not quite as crap. So we know roughly where some bad guys are. But. Oh, we could say that the Vigans had done um, their reconnaissance uh, with their U22A. And these are the boxes that were formed. Uh, which is pretty realistic. And we should probably do some more of this later on in the campaign. In fact, I think I will. Except with actual U22A uh, reconnaissance. That would be pretty cool, right? Right. I could make you look strong and beautiful forever. I didn't look far enough forward because I don't know what I'm doing now. What should I do? I don't know. Probably like on them. On them? Uh, what am I doing? Something like that? No, that's awful. Uh, oh, I wish I knew how to do anything. There we go. How about that? Super cat. Oh, for five minutes. I just made it worse. So away, Mr. Tanker. To the point where. So we now's got a, a P East a way point one a, a P West a D P P P. And we've got some rough distances. That B roughly. 50 mile, that be 90 mile. Keep you up forever. That be 90 miles, which will gobble up in no time at all. We did 500 miles the other night, so it's going to be quick, quick, quick. Um, what? It's 55? What does it look like? Well, 60, isn't it? No, I'm sure it wasn't that far. It's more like 50. Pew, pew, and a big circle of death. Everyone loves a big circle of death. Pew, sat like that with flea. Bit big actually. That's wild. That's so grossest. Okay, it's a little bit better. Let's start reading. Waypoint one, sweet. IP East. IP West. Defended point. Main but la e at 
scout. I don't know. Element. S three hundred. Okay, so that's everything terror. Uh, what we need now is our uh, what do we need? Uh, we need Batumi. Shh, how could I swear? Because I think I actually know this off by heart. It is our IP base and it's Takan 16 X ray, pretty sure. And it's magnetic course for the runway, I think it's 119. Uh, true 125. Remember that right? I need to write our tankers down somewhere, so our tankers. Tankers. Oh. Hammer. Angels 10. Takan. 71 X ray. Uh, he's on 121 megahertz AM. Okay. Buick. Angels 12. Takan 122 two megahertz. Hang on, miss that out. 2-2 two, two X ray. We'll try and keep this the same throughout the campaign, otherwise, it's going to send me pretty batty. Sabre. Angels 14. Takan uh, 23 X ray. 123 megahertz. Alpha Mike and Dagger Angels 16 Takan 24 X X ray 1 2 4 megahertz AM Let's shrink those down a little bit let's at least shrink these that is just still paired let's punk that somewhere we can fit about there Right, pretty cool. Save as. Uh, gonna go for Untitled Free. Uh, let's bring that in a little bit. So, the orders today. One. Take off. Uh, I want the other Batumi. What's the opposite of one uh, three? One three take away one eight is minus. Oh, come on, Brian. Three one? I think it's three one. Uh, B A T three one. I can spell that. Take off. B A T. I think take off is one word nowadays. Uh, B A T three one. Meet at your tanker. No refuel. Very. It's not really a ferry, is it? Waypoint one. Destroy. Uh, ships uh, scout naval scout shipping attack not really going to destroy anything there attack, attack scout shipping 5 defend Q 
QR A slash uh, patrols six RTB land IFR bat one three <laughs> with the tech amp. Remarks. Not a lot to say on this one. I don't care about altitudes, don't care about speeds, don't care about radars on and off. Um, do I? I suppose the radar off would be a signature, so it would be a bit of a giveaway, so... I'll ask the guys what they think. Um, altitude. No altitude of speed stipulations. Uh, bullseye doesn't matter. Mm, I can't think of any other remarks. Let's go and see what we had in our remarks from last time. Uh, waypoint close for oh the different formations. Uh, yeah, that's actually a good point. I, d I would like some. I'm going to do the fixed point. Yep. So there's actually quite a lot to think about here. So. Um, close. Form. Four. Form. Four. Forty nautical. Open for for forty five nautical. Let's see what else we've got. Where's the two versions of this up? That's just silly. You're being silly. We've got the fixed points, defending points. Right, let's get that done. Fix. Uh, no, sorry. IP East. East is uh, IP East, IP East, four, two, four, six, zero, forty, twenty, fifty seven. IP West is whoops, Northern. IP West is four, two, two, three, two, seven, three, nine, five, one, one, two. Going uh, V D P is northing four two five nine four seven east thing three nine three 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 zero Okay That's those uh, considerations And I'm pretty much just going to copy it out the other one. And we did have some respawn rules somewhere, didn't we? Can respawn if formation collision or disconnect. Beautiful. Pretty happy with all that. Pretty simple. That's a pretty simple mission. Hopefully the boys will get that right. I'll make sure everything's done. I'm gonna save that up. And I'm gonna go and put that on Google Drive and put the necessary stuff on it. Otherwise, we're pretty much done. Right, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you at mission time.